Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another tablescape video. So today I'm going to be doing a tablescape based off of these adorable strawberry berry bowls. So I picked these up at the Dollar General. They were literally, I think, $3 a piece and I love them. I actually use berry bowls almost every day in the summer because I grow strawberries and blueberries and all kinds of things out in my garden. And then I use berry bowls just for lunch or for an after dinner snack when I'm eating them. Um, and the berry bowls that I currently have and use are great, but they are about three times bigger than this. Uh, so I was very excited to find these little cute ones and I figured let's go ahead and set an end of summer table with them. I wanted to bring in a little bit more of the pink. It is a muted red on those. And so I mainly have pink dishes. I don't have any reds. Uh, red is definitely not my color. And so I grabbed my Cricut and I whipped up these pink and red uh, drink stirrers, which if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know is my go-to move to tie any table together with the reds and the pinks. And then we have a little bit of the seafoam green as our toppers for the strawberries, which I thought would tie in the seafoam of these particular plates. So I have seafoam salad plates. These are Southern Living Savannah. I got them when I worked at Dillard's. I just think they're super cute. And then we have our matte ceramica pink dinner plates. I use these all the time. They are my everyday dishes. And tying it all together with a bit of pink, a uh, picnic table vibes with that plaid print for our chargers. So we're gonna go ahead and put this all together and then we will see what else we need like for a centerpiece. Um, I have some ideas kind of want to bring in, like I said, those larger berry bowls that kind of go with these plates. I thought maybe I could use one of those for a centerpiece, but let's start by just setting the table. So as always, we will start with the charger on the bottom. I just have a white tablecloth on the table right now, which is pretty classic for almost any table. only problem with bringing everything to the table ahead of time is that well it does uh, mean I have less trips back and forth usually I go get everything off my island it means it's a little hard to set the table with everything already on it it's all right Oh, this is going to be a very cute pastel table. Right, so I do think I'm going to go off of where my, my chairs are set this time. My chairs here are usually set here, here, and then of course the bench at the back. This is so cute already. I wasn't sure about the seafoam. I do have pink uh, salad plates that go with this pattern but I just thought the seafoam might bring in a bit more of the strawberry vibe since I don't have a green. And while these are a more traditional red and green, they are, like I said, a softer kind of color. And I thought that it would work close enough with the seafoam, which is more my vibe for sure. I 
is all working out exactly how I pictured it in my head, which means that uh, this may be a pretty quick tablescape. Typically, I end up running around like a chicken with my head chopped off trying to decide what to do and what to get and how to kind of spruce things up when something isn't working. So far, so good. Our drink stirs, and I, my best friend said that these drink stirs would be super cute with a strawberry themed cocktail um, or mocktail, whichever you prefer. And I think she may be right. I did make six, either if you have six people, or a lot of times, even if I only am doing a four piece play setting. I like to make a couple extra to stick in my centerpiece. All right, so since I'm not doing fresh flowers, I thought maybe a little cake plate with one of my larger berry bowls and flowers. And these have a similar dusty kind of sea foam color, similar to the plates. Thought that would be cute. And then I thought maybe we could tuck, like I said, I last two drink stirs right in here. I could make them as low or as high as I wanted. There we go. Oh, that's cute. And that's also one reason why I tend to use bamboo skewers as opposed to straws, which of course you can do straws for your drink stirs or just straws with the cute little icons on them. Um, but I like the bamboo. Well, table is off center. Because uh, <laughs> they're easy to reuse if I want to add something different to them down the road. The straws tend to uh, fall apart pretty easily. The bamboo does fall apart eventually, but it tends to hold together a little better than the paper straws. And like I said, I like being able to add them to my centerpiece. And I think that's honestly it. I think we are going to go ahead, maybe we'll toss uh, some napkins on here to finish it off. I think that's pretty darn cute for the end of summer. I love the berry bowls. And I think that even though they are a bit more red than the rest of the table, they still go really well. And this way they stand out, which is what I wanted. I didn't necessarily want to go out and get a bunch of reds um, and therefore have them blend in. I wanted to work with what I already had. So I'm going to bring y'all in for a close up and let y'all see what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next table video. Thank you.